What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? It's Ringbean, and I've gotten a lot of requests in the past to do a video like this. A lot of people wanted to see the ins and outs of my Zelda shrine right here, see all the collectibles, the toys, the stories behind them. We'll go over all the games here. I'll talk about some of my favorites and a few of the ones that are not my favorites. For those of you who don't know, obviously, I'm a huge Zelda fan. It's the series that I have the most nostalgic feelings for. It's, a, it's the series that I can always go back and play, and I never lose interest in it. So with that said, guys, I want you to sit back and relax. Let's talk about it. Alright guys, so I'm, I guess the best way to do this is just work from the top down. I mean, this is going all the way to the ceiling. If I can remember everything about these toys or how I got them, I'll tell you. If not, we'll just kind of kind of go over it. So starting up top right here, I got, luckily I got my camera on a tripod so I could, as tall as this is. This really awesome Ganondorf figure right here was sent in. I, you're you're going to find out a lot of this stuff you guys have just given me. You've donated and it's incredible. I'm running out of room for the Zelda Shrine right here. I've actually had plans to, you know, extend this over here and just have one big shelf. Maybe get rid of this one and use it for a shrine for something else. But I am running out of room. I actually have some things that are not in the game room. They're actually outside, like in the bedroom or the living room, just because I, I simply don't have the room for it. So I put my most favorite, beloved items here. So anyways, that Ganondorf figure, which is very awesome from the Wind Waker. And I've noticed before I started filming, I got a lot of Wind Waker items. No specific reason. It's not my you know, most favorite Zelda game. It's a good one, but it's, it's just how it turned out. But anyways, that thing is absolutely awesome. It's, it's huge. It's probably about six, seven inches tall. Sorry if the film works that bad. I'm trying to hold this up really high. The uh, black and white Mickey, he's just always been up there. You can ignore him. Uh, this Zelda cup right here. Uh, this thing is awesome right here. It's, uh, it's, it's made of steel that was given to me for my birthday. Uh, that thing is very awesome. The lettering on that, if I can get a good angle on it without the glare, is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, moving down, we got... Everybody call everybody calls this version a Link Toon Link uh, from the Wind Waker as well. I mean, he, had, he did have that cartoonish look to him. He's Link no matter what to me. Uh, let's see, we got this very awesome comic. There's, there's a handful of comic books that I got scattered throughout the from the Zelda series. One of the Nintendo Bowers right there with, uh, what is that, the Four Swords? Yes, the Four Swords version. Uh, behind that is the Wind Waker uh, exclusive Wii U box right there. The system's not in there, but that, that was also sent in. Very awesome to have that. That thing is absolutely gorgeous. That's why I'm going to be very happy to get another like shelf or another cabinet in here just to be able to show all this stuff off better than what it is now because i hate having everything jammed together i mean when we start opening this up i'm sure things are going to go crazy this right here when i was at the gaming convention i did an awesome trade with a subscriber and this thing is gorgeous i want to see if i can open it without going crazy here this is from skyward sword right here i i, I absolutely love the graphic on that thing it looks awesome and it's a statue of link himself and uh, let me open that up this thing is awesome. I mean, I, I can take them out, but I like the box as well. It's not that I want to keep it sealed. I, I open things all the time, but I do like that box artwork, and I can open it up much like a book. So that thing's very cool. Oh, uh, let's see. Moving down. I got an Ocarina. Uh, you can order these things on eBay. They're very cheap. They're like uh, maybe like 20 bucks. I can't remember. It's a very good quality one. I've actually learned how to play it slightly. I can play, you know, simple things like Zelda's Lullaby, and it, it sounds really awesome. And it's not the most difficult thing to learn how to play. You can go online, look at some YouTube videos, and actually learn how to read, uh, you know, like simple tabulature to learn how to play this thing. Around it is a Zelda lanyard that I used to wear for the longest time, but it actually broke. So I just put it up here with the shrine and made the most sense. Looking at the cabinet itself, it's a very, very nice cabinet. I mean, this thing is heavy. It's huge, solid wood and glass. The thing was a pain to actually load and bring in but it, it does look great so if i ever do get a bigger one this thing's gonna have to be a shrine for something else but i've been thinking about doing one for maybe like a survival horror series i got uh, you know a bunch of games that i'd love to put in a uh, shrine like that so on the sides of the actual cabinet itself this is a very awesome piece this was sent in from a subscriber as well 
from Twilight Princess Ranch. That just looks that looks amazing. That that is absolutely I love that gothic style look that Twilight Princess brought to the Zelda series. Let's see if I can put that up there. And over here on the other side, we have this. It's like a cloth painting print kind of thing of, you know, obviously you got Link, you know, getting the Master Sword. Very awesome with the Lost Woods. I love that. That is gorgeous. All right, we're opening this thing up here because there's nothing in the bottom. Actually, where that, that door opens up, I actually keep, like, spare batteries and things like that. And then on the front, this, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a lot. A lot of things were sent in. Not so much with the games, but, you know, just a lot of little decorations or toys, things like that. This is awesome. This is a decal, you know, with the Triforce. This thing is very good quality, and it looks perfect on the shrine itself. I love that thing. So we're going to open it up. I always got to open it slow because I don't want things going crazy in here. All right, and you may notice there will be a reflection in the back because the, the the back of this is also a, um, like a, like a mirror, so you can see anything you put in from the back side. So looking at the top shelf, I have random things in here. Like you'll see this Four Swords manual. I don't have the box for it. So I'll, I'll put it in here and hopefully I'll get that box one day. You'll see both the uh, Legend of Zelda, you know, original NES game, which started it all for me. I mean, this, when you're playing things like Mario or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the first time you play Zelda is very breathtaking. Like when you, when you see what games could actually be and what they become, that's the game that started it all for me. But what's really nice about this is I've upgraded this probably like eight times. I'm on like the hunt for the most mint copy of this game. And as you can see, other than that's just a little smudging. But as you can see, there's no black, uh, you know, scratches on here, which you see a lot of times with this. My Adventures of Link right here, the uh, Zelda 2. Uh, this one has the manual right there, and it's actually in very good condition as well. I got the complete in box back there for the uh, the the Legend of Zelda. I don't have one for the uh, Adventures of Link. Uh, let's see. Moving up, we got a that's that's you know Toon Link as a lot of people like to call him from the Link. Woo! See, th things get falling. You got to be careful. Um, that yeah, like I said, Toon Link right there from the World Nintendo. I believe that one was sent in as well. Very awesome figure. Uh, moving over, we got my my original copy of the Link to the Past, which is. Probably like my second most favorite Zelda game of all time. Very, very amazing game if you've never played it. You're going to see these little cards scattered on. These were sent in by Tatic Collector. These things are very awesome right here. It's like like a little mini game on each one where you scratch these off. And if you look on the back, it'll give you like a list of rules and how to do it. These things are awesome. I'm not going to scratch these though. I want to keep those in good condition. So you'll see them scattered throughout the shrine itself. Uh, moving down, we got a wristband, the, the Legend of Zelda wristband, band, like a sweatband kind of thing. Uh, behind it, you'll see some odd things in here too. That is my copy of the Parallel Worlds right there for the um, Super Nintendo. And what that is, is basically in the same design as Link to the Past up there, but it's it's a mod hack. It's like an entirely different game. And it's hard as shit. So if you, never, if, if you, if you want another Zelda experience... And you got the balls to play something, get that right there. You can order those. They're probably, I don't know, maybe 20, 40 bucks. They're really awesome, though. You'll see another uh, ROM hack that I have here later down. Uh, more figures down here. I've always had this right here. I can't remember where the hell I got it. This right here is amazing. I had a subscriber whose wife hand makes these. These things are, are, are very awesome. You have the, the, uh, the cuffs and then the tie clip. And then that Majora's Mask pin right there, which is amazing quality right there. And we actually did a bunch of giveaways with those at one point, And a lot of people liked them, especially me. Um, I do not have the case for this, but I picked this up recently. I bought it when it came out brand new, beat it, and then sold it when the price was high. Now I recently got it again. I just need the case for it. All right, moving down. You'll, like I said, you'll see a lot of cards from the, uh, the, the Nintendo cards right here for Zelda. They're, they're scattered all throughout. I love the art on them. If you're looking like an NES manual for the original Zelda, you'll see a lot of art style like that, which is which is awesome. Uh, so behind here, we have the Twilight Princess comic book. Very. I'm not going to pull a lot of this stuff out because it's, it's kind of hard to say. I only pull these things out when like there's a specific game that I'm trying to play. But back there, I'll try to weasel the camera in there a little bit. It ain't working too well. But it's a very awesome book. I believe that one was sent in as well. Uh, just a random Twilight Princess bag or a... Um, just a little art decal you can wear around your chain, uh, around your neck or something like that. Put it on your keychain. The Game Informer, when it talked about Breath of the Wild, that was a very awesome 
that was an awesome game informer to get um you know everybody hates on gamestop i do too but for 15 dollars to get that that monthly magazine is not bad plus the uh the discount for the used games it's all a money racket but i think the subscription to the magazine is worth it you know alone so moving down we got my copy of the original wind waker uh for the gamecube which i, I remember buying that brand new such an amazing experience a lot of people hated it and they hated that art style and then they played it and they were like well it's still zelda and it's still amazing and that that's that's the only way to look at it right there uh what do i got behind her I, I got so many things scattered around here uh behind it is my original copy of twilight princess i can't pull that out right now i didn't want to pull a lot of this stuff out i'm just kind of going trying so i'm not missing anything uh let's see we got the minish cap right here very good game uh it's not talked about as much in the zelda franchise it should be it's very nice a copy of the four swords you could you know connect four game boy advances together and team up which is very cool the master cork right there i got that in like a loot crate i think um i can't remember exactly where but it's a cork you can put in like wine bottles uh behind the cuckoo right here and he's awesome check him out <laughs> I, I i actually love that thing uh behind that we got my copy of the oracle of ages and the oracle of seasons the oh <laughs> i knew stuff like this was going to happen uh for the game boy uh color right here this one not in the greatest condition but i got it for dirt cheap uh my copy of the spirit tracks and phantom hourglass and this is where i'm probably going to piss a lot of people off not my favorite zelda games uh just just for the fact that i didn't care for using the stylus to move link around it wasn't my it wasn't my cup of tea they're not bad games i played through them and beat them it was definitely a zelda experience but it wasn't it wasn't what i wanted it just kind of felt like an ios game for a lot of it so behind that we got the master quest and ocarina of time bundle right there when i believe you got that for pre-ordering wind waker if i'm not mistaken and what's really nice is my copy of wind waker is the kmart exclusive which is a little more uncommon i think that's pretty pretty cool uh behind all that we have this is the four swords for the gamecube as well i can't pull that out oh <laughs> everything's gonna be falling out all right moving down i don't want this video to be too crazy it's just it's it's wild to, to see how much stuff i got uh down here all right moving back in we got the the collector's edition of ocarina of time i actually had ocarina of time complete in box but it wasn't the collector's edition so i sold it with the box i didn't want to keep it i want the box for the collector's edition ocarina of time behind that you got the classic holographic majora's mask which is an amazing game and for everybody who wants to know what my number one zelda game is you're looking at it right there ocarina of time and i'm sure that's a lot of people's favorite zelda game and it's it's got good reason to be all right moving over here here are the gray cart variants for the nes and i'm not a huge variant collector and actually bef before i started filming and i saw that i had those in here i'm i may end up getting rid of them just so i can have a little bit more room in the shrine for some toys or anything because i got the you know the original games up top I, I don't necessarily need those but they are very nice very minty uh down here this is another rom hack this is zelda outlands right here another very hard recreation of a zelda game for the nes it's very challenging but very awesome too at the same time and like if you want a truly unique zelda experience pick that up i, I believe i got my copy for 20 bucks on ebay they have a bunch of different variants they they all look differently because i mean they're all nothing's you know it's not official or anything uh, it even says right there it won't focus but it says unofficial nintendo product so all right more cards down here those were sent in here i mean i'm not going to talk about my most hated zelda games uh you know being the cdi versions because everybody knows they're they're just simply not that good i only have one and that's the faces of evil it's not good at all i'm missing uh the winds of gamelon and uh zelda's adventure i highly doubt i'll ever get zelda's adventure that game is stupidly expensive uh behind that we got the wind waker hd remake for the wii u a very well done remake it just looks gorgeous i don't i can't remember if anything was added or different but graphically it's it's very nice to see on a big screen uh let's see behind that is the actual box to the ocarina that i picked up and that's what was very nice when i got mine is it came with this very very nice box right here and that thing was definitely shrine worthy all right moving over behind zelda outlands right here 
is the we this is still sealed um i'm not a big seal collector unless it's something you know like this for zelda and this is the legend of zelda twilight princess hd remake which i already had it downloaded on the wii so i don't need to open this it has the amiibo figure figure right there with uh wolf link and it, it's it's just it's gorgeous man I, I love that thing right there uh moving down to the final portion of the zelda shrine uh, down here, this is a complete unboxed Minish Cap right here, which the game was up top. Uh, this was sent in by a very awesome subscriber, and this thing is just, that's gorgeous looking. Like I said, Minish Cap's super underrated. I mean, it's, it, it got high praise. It's just one that a lot of people just don't, don't simply talk about. Get you the Game Boy Player for the GameCube. Play it on a big screen, or, you know, if I, I like these, a Retron 5. It is amazing. Very good Zelda experience. All right, we have the guide. This is a sealed guide for the Triforce Heroes right here. That's one of the games that I'm missing. A lot of people are gonna are gonna wonder what Zelda games am I missing? I'm only missing what maybe three. I'm missing I'm missing the Winds of Gamelon, the Zelda's Adventure, Triforce Heroes, and Breath of the Wild. I don't have Breath of. I obviously I played it and beat it. I just haven't found another copy. Uh, for dirt cheap like I normally do that's that's what I do with new games I buy them when they're brand new play them beat them and then I'll get them when I can get them at a yard sale for like two bucks and that's when they end up you know in my collection which is a which is a good way I'd, I like to do it all right uh, and I guess I am missing the N64 Master Quest but I have the Master Quest on the GameCube it's just they, they actually put the port on the 64 added that new dungeon some more difficulty uh, this came from Arcade Block right here. It's just a Zelda keychain with the uh, the shield on there. Very cool looking. All right, moving back right here, we have the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition with the promotional disc, uh, or for with the promotional disc. And what this has on there is four Zelda games: the original NES, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and Zelda 2. Very good collection right there of Zelda games that you can play on your GameCube. That was awesome whenever that came out. Uh, so I was I was very happy to have that. Uh, in the back, we have the guide for the Twilight Princess, and then this huge book right here. It's not the Hyrule his, uh, History or Hysteria, or whatever. I can't remember exactly what it's called, uh, but it, it, it is like an encyclopedia of Zelda. I mean, that thing is absolutely huge, and it's very detailed with beautiful colored pictures. I absolutely love that thing. I'm not going to pull it out right now because all this stuff's going to fall, and, and, it will, and it'll just go crazy. Uh, so with that said, guys, that's that's it. I mean, that's everything in my Zelda Shrine. Um, I'm sure there's more to come. There's a random Majora's Mask book right there because I don't have the box. Um, I may have missed something in here. I have no idea. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, hit that thumbs up and you know subscribe, all that. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite Zelda game is, ones you don't like, or if there's something I'm missing because, the hell, there definitely could be. So anyways, guys, I want you to take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.